John, what are you doing? Reese, I'm not on acid. What? Just kidding. I am on acid. What? Hi, uh, thanks for watching our interpretive dance loosely based on Silence of the Lambs. We really appreciate it. An interpretive dance? I am on acid. It puts the lotion on the skin. It puts the lotion on the skin or else we'll make it rain on him. Anthony Hopkins, Anthony Hopkins. I didn't know you could talk an interpretive dance. That's so beautiful. All right, Wooly. What number am I thinking of in my head? Red. How did you know? Uh, all right, place. What place am I thinking of? I'm getting Afghanistan po poppy fields. Can you be more specific? I'm pretty sure you have a heroin problem. Oh, you demon, get out of my head. Oh. Guys, you will never believe what just happened to me. I don't know, but I think Wooly's psychic. Wooly, what do you think just happened? Vision from God? No, it was a vision from God. Maybe we should look into Wooly being psychic. Reese Winemaker Hobo Stein, bow down before your one true God. Your last name's Hobo Stein? <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, my grandpa traded a sandwich for that name. Don't make fun of it. Now, back to my vision. But why me, all-knowing and all-powerful God? Why am I so special? I choose who are fit. Reese, give it up. You're not a prophet. Bully, what am I thinking of right now? Porn. This is amazing! I know having one vision doesn't make me a prophet. It probably just makes me like a, uh, I don't know, a wise man? No, it makes you a liar. And if I had to guess, you're probably going to hell. You can see we've made some changes around here. Sorry, we didn't mean to interrupt. Is this a bad time? No worries. Our door is always open. 24 hours a day. Uh, actually, just, just during office hours. Business hours only. So what can I help you with? Uh, Reese told us he was a prophet and had a vision from God. Hmm. Interesting. I agree. Very interesting. All right, go ahead. Yes, proceed. Yeah, we just wanted you to know, you know, because of, like, separation of church and business or something. Yeah, it's pretty unprofessional. Well, I assure you we take this very seriously. We strive for professionalism in the workplace. So do you want to, like, catch me or something? Hey, guys. Yeah. I got some good news. Uh, I'm gonna set up a big meeting and we'll bring Reese in and everyone will just talk it through. It'll be, be good, it'll be like Thanksgiving. Well, if you think that's best, I... we'll be there. Awesome, thank you. It's, it's kind of my first case, so thanks for bringing it to me, you know. Yeah, yeah, no it means problem. a lot. No problem. You know what, guys, though, it's also my first case and I'm pretty excited about it and I've been here very long and it's just a special time, man. Thanks, you guys. You, you know, know it's, it's a big <clears throat> deal to me. We'll be there for you. Yeah. Thanks, but, man. But um, it's also my first case as well, so I just, I think that, I, well, we've all known each other for a really long time. We're all really good friends, right? Oh, well, we're you new know? friends. You know. Yeah, but you know, old friends, you keep old friends longer, you but know. But new friends have more to offer. Yeah, but you know, they might be just trustful and you don't really know, like, who they are yet. You know, they might be totally Some people like and, surprises. Yeah, some people don't. Oh. 
Uh, Ted, can I make an opening statement? Yeah, sure. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. Reese, you're not a prophet, you're just attention craved. He is too a prophet. Mm. You realize siding with him is not going to get you a promotion, right? It's not? Your promotion is going to heaven. No one believes you're a prophet, old man. Well, I guess until everyone gets a little more enlightened, we'll have mandatory Sunday promo filmings from now on. That's oh, not come fair. on. You can't do that. You can't, you can't do that. Like no entire... I'm in charge over here. Who do you think you are? I'm the prophet. I'm the producer. I'm the pro pro profit user. What I say goes. Well, why don't you prove it? We have a blind, deaf, mute man right here. Why don't you heal him? Yeah, he's blind, deaf, and mute. Heal him. 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 All right. Heal him. Heal. I'll do it. Our Father, who art in heaven, cast. The demons out! Did it work? Are you still a blind, deaf mute? <laughs> you see, Reese? You're not a prophet. You're just a loser with no friends. Well, to, does this mean we still have to do open mic night? Stop crying, my son. God? I am that is. Are you mad that I was a false prophet? My forgiveness is eternal. I'm sorry. I just wanted to have friends. Or at least a reason for people to like me. There's more to do this life than being liked. Do good deeds. Do the right thing? Always do the right thing. All right. I get it. I got it. I'm good. Hey, God, what's the secret to life anyways? I can either tell you or you can know if Joseph is going to heaven or hell. I'm sorry, Reese, about the meeting. Things got a little hectic. I don't know what came over me. Shove it, Joseph. You're going to hell. All right. Well, uh, welcome to this week's annual uh, open mic night. And uh, first up is Reese. So I hate working out. Hate working out. But I love the gym. I hate the gym. Why do you like the gym? I love the gym because it's the last place in American society where it's acceptable to give a stranger a pep talk. You can walk past a guy doing a bench press, say, push it out, bro, push it out, bro, Ooh. nice lift, nice lift. Ooh. not funny. I don't know how many of you noticed this, but uh, what's with this? Who did this? I did. Uh, he did that. Who's that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, actually. You think that's funny? Yeah. It's, it's not funny. funny. Yeah, it's, it's funny. funny. It's, it's funny when you What's so funny about it, huh? Remember that time you had jaundice? That was funny. That was that was pretty funny. Jaundice, you better have, jaundice is not funny. Jaundice. That's it's not true. funny. I wish you still had jaundice. <laughs> my name's not important. I let my hands do the talking. Hey guys, I think gangs are a lot like women. If you get involved with uh, more than one at the same time, <laughs> it becomes difficult. Being in two gangs at once, schedule conflicts arise. And, uh, you know, one time I, I was with this one gang and all of a sudden we were fighting my other gang and 
the, the multiple gangs just became a little overwhelming. And a lot of people died that night. Thank you. Uh. Boo. Boo. No. Wait, nice shirt. Wait for it. Mitch already did that. Wait oh for it. Shirt. No, I'm not thinking. The paternity test is Copy in. No one will cat. ever have sex Copy with you. Cat. <laughs> Everyone was applauding the last time someone did this. Well, I guess that uh, that will wrap it up. Thanks for coming out. See you next week. <sighs>